hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so uh, this is the seventh question related to maximum power transfer theorem uh, to circuits involving dependent sources okay so this is the circuit here uh, we have this uh, dependent source here which is basically a current dependent voltage source this is the important dependent variable the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor and uh, there are two things that have been asked in uh, to find out in this question which is first find the value of RL such that the load current IL is equal to minus 2 ampere that is the first thing next find the value of RL for maximum power transfer so we are going to find these two uh, actually three things so we will use the Thevenin equivalent circuit approach okay so for that first we have to redraw the circuit open circuiting this output terminal so it is 10 ampere this is 2 ohm and this is 4i this is open circuited this is VTH I is this ok now here as this uh, output side is open circuited as a result of that no current will flow through this whole output path and the entire 10 ampere current will flow through this so i here is equal to 10 ampere okay that implies 4i becomes 40 volt now when we apply kvl in this direction then we get vth plus 4i which is equal to plus 40 volt minus 2i which is equal to minus 2 into 10 is equal to 0 that implies vth plus 20 is equal to 0 that implies vth is equal to minus 20 volt So we've got VTH. Now the important thing here is to notice these things. Okay, it is open circuited. As a result, no current will flow through this. So the entire 10 ampere current will flow through this. Then it becomes everything becomes easy. So the main important thing here is to notice. Okay, the changes that happen to the circuit when we make any uh, suitable or a subtle change to any part in the circuit when it was closed things the behavior would have been different but as it is open the behavior changes so we have got uh, VTH is equal to minus 20 volt now we have to find RTH and then everything will be uh, easy so we have calculated VTH is equal to minus 20 volt now we have to find RTH and for that we have to deactivate all the independent sources so here we have a 10 ampere independent current source we have to open circuit it so it will be to ohm plus minus 4i and then we have to connect an external excitation that is 1 volt ok and uh, let the current flowing from it is I and it is very important to find I because RTH will be 1 volt by I ampere this much ohm ok so this is uh, so here is the same thing I is equal to I the same thing so let us just remove all that let us just 
uh, write it as I it is 1 volt by I ampere because the same current will be flowing because it is open circuited 0 ampere will flow through it okay so now uh, if we have to apply KVL another important relationship is that uh, here the whole thing when we apply KVL it will come in terms of I and that's what we want so it is 1 plus 4I minus 2I is equal to 0 that implies 1 plus 2i is equal to 0 that implies i is equal to minus 1 by 2 ampere so you've got i rth is equal to 1 volt by i ampere so it is equal to 1 by minus 1 by 2 which is equal to minus 2 ohm again uh, in one of the previous questions also this whole negative resistance thing came up so I explained uh, some things related to power absorption, power supply so you please refer to that question okay so sometimes uh, when dealing with Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuit the resistance comes negative so nothing to worry about it is the right answer okay RTH is equal to minus 2 ohm now we have got VTH and we have got RTH now there are two questions that are asked here okay first is that suppose the load current okay we replace the entire thing with its thevenin equivalent minus 20 volt RTH is equal to minus 2 ohm so it has been asked suppose the load current is equal to minus 2 ampere find the value of RL okay so in that case here when we apply KVL here okay IL it will be minus 20 minus okay plus to minus that's why minus minus product of current minus 2 into minus 2 ohm okay the same IL is flowing through this so it is this then minus minus 2 IL into RL is equal to 0 that implies minus 20 minus 4 plus 2 RL is equal to 0 that implies 2 RL is equal to 24 that implies RL is equal to 12 ohm so for the first part of the question to find the value of RL such that IL is equal to minus 2 ampere the value of RL is 12 ohm next to find the value of RL for maximum power transfer now we all know for maximum power transfer as per the maximum power transfer theorem the load resistance should be equal to the Thevenin resistance which is equal to minus 2 ohm and the value of that maximum power is equal to VTH square by 4 RTH is equal to minus 20 whole square by 4 into minus 2 which is equal to 400 by 8 which is equal to minus 50 watt so again it all comes down to whether the power is being absorbed or it is being supplied so here the negative power the negative sign indicates that this this load resistance in this case it is supplying power okay it is supplying power so this is the seventh question related to maximum power transfer theorem